on a nice, cool, wet, brisk Saturday afternoon. We're going live action, bold action, Jackson. Okay? Everybody knows that all y'all doing is just laid up, looking at your phones today and all that, being lazy on the couch. Ain't nobody doing nothing. So, uh, while y'all ain't doing nothing, I'm going to make a big announcement. Well, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way through with it 100%, but I'm going to keep y'all uh, keep y'all in suspense a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um... So, uh, what's up, Jam and Joe? Um, mm, sorry, I don't know what went on right there. Anywho, um, so, uh, a lot of you know, well, yeah, a lot of you know that I've been in, like, the, uh, the custom tackle business for a while, and, uh, it is something that, you know, like I said in my little testimonial on how the uh, the business got started up right there before Christmas, um, I would have never slowed down enough to even remotely think about uh, doing anything like this, you know what I mean? What's up, chum on? Son, where have you been, boy? Over there hunkered down in Burke County. Anywho, so... Uh, and my wife, my wife over here raising up Burke County. Like, she, she don't even know nothing about it, boy. But Highway 70. Anyway. So, uh, I've been in the, uh, not only the custom tackle business, but uh, I've just been in, like, the tackle on the retail side and, you know, making baits and the whole nine. Amen, Michael. I'm glad you tuned in. Man, I was thinking about you a while ago. I hope uh, I hope y'all I hope y'all doing good, little man and little bit and Jessica. But uh, but anywho, so here I've been uh, been in this game for this year will be ten years. Yeah, yeah, I've been making baits for about it'll be ten years this upcoming fall. So so anyway, um, I it's something that this that's coming about I would have never even thought about doing but it just uh it had gotten my heart like uh super heavy for uh I don't know over over five years anyway it really got super heavy on my heart to uh to do and to hope to be able to be a part of and uh anywho um so something that I'd really been praying about I guess pretty uh pretty strong for the last year um i just uh i've always loved the uh the tackle business and love i i enjoy making tackle i enjoy i what i enjoy about it most i get to be around a bunch of people you know what i mean hey man big scotty too hotty and kevin and brother travis Miss Tab, the to big tone, big tone Luke up there in uh, in West Jefferson. Hey, man. So anyway, I've had this uh, this desire that I've been in a dream. I guess, I guess that's what you would call it. I've been praying about pretty strong for uh, for a year, and the reason is it's just uh, number one. I've got kids that are uh, that are getting older. You know, everybody we're we're all getting older. Unfortunately, we're not getting any younger. And, uh, <clears throat> so I'm looking at them and I want a, uh, I want an ethic in them, you know, to want to work and to, uh, to be comfortable around people, you know what I mean? And, uh, and want to take care of people. That's, you know, that's the main thing we all, uh, we all, if you're in any type of customer service, public Top business or whatever. Hey, hey, brother Travis done said he's watching live from China. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. Look, we done went worldwide just like that. Hey, share this thing with Shim Sham over there, brother Travis. I know you. I know you got the hook up over there. Look, there's old Zorro right there. So yeah. Anywho, um, 
So I've had a desire and a dream for a while, and last year I was working up at Skyline, very grateful for that up in Wilkesboro, and um, my it was like my health was, I don't know, I wasn't able to apply myself the way that I really wanted to, and uh, I had to step out. But I also had to, I had to, hmm. I had to step out by faith, and I want y'all to know that because uh, I was uh, I was living a lot better as far as financially goes. Okay, I was financially in a a lot better place than I had been ever since I've been hurt. So for for nine years, like nine years, man, you know, uh, I was. My my family, hey, we've been blessed. Never had a want, never had a want for nothing. You know what I mean? The Lord's always provided. So, um, anywho, to uh, to get to it, I had to step out last fall by faith, and you know, just just pray that the Lord would uh, would take care of me and my family, because uh, leaving a financial comfort and going right back to you know what a lot of us would look at like a like a struggle zone, I guess, because you know things got things are tight. I ain't even gonna lie to you, but uh, but we're blessed and we're spoiled, and that's the main thing right there. We're just spoiled. So, uh, anywho, the thing that I've been praying about for a while, I've been uh, I've been absent from here for I don't know for a while. It's been close to it's probably been a month, and I you know I just. Uh, I've been working on things, and I've been having to pray about things, and I've just been waiting on the Lord. Really, that's uh, that's that's really all. That's the only way that I could put it. So anyway, um, a couple of my buddies that are on here, they uh, they know what's going on, and they know what's been in my heart, and uh, I've had a couple other of my buddies to uh, to want to support me in like whatever you know what i mean like hey rick if you're gonna stay at home and you're gonna make baits hey man i'm right there behind you 100 percent, you know and and praying for me along the way as well and uh but anywho um the thing that i've been wanting to do most naturally with my situation and all this is uh it's been hard to do because it's like I don't even see how people in this world, like uh, as far as like uh, lenders and all this thing, I don't see how they expect people to go forward in life. I mean, you know, they it's like they just want you living off of uh, a survival check or whatever, you know what I mean, and all this. But anyway, so... Uh, the thing that I've been praying about for a while, y'all, is uh, I have, for the, I guess, last five years, I've, I have really, well, four years, we'll say four years, I have wanted a tackle shop, and not just a, a custom tackle shop, kind of like what I'm doing down in the shop now, you know, making baits and things of that nature, but... um I wanted a uh, I wanted a tackle store to where I could sell not only my baits but I could sell you know I could sell other people's baits like uh, say for instance my buddy Jody Wright with Catcher uh, Catcher Lures and uh, um, my other buddy uh, Old Boodoo down there in uh, in Mooresville Way with uh, muffin top jigs and. You know, there's many others out there that I would uh, that I would just like to have a, a shop, man, to where you just carry a bunch of uh, bunch of custom tackle. I mean, whether it's jigs, spinner baits, buzz baits, whatever, shaky heads, you know what I mean? Just whatever. I, that's something I've wanted to do because. I like the art of it, and I would. I've always wanted to be like supportive of everybody else. I want to. I want to see people excel in life. So uh, 
I got the news uh, just shortly ago, and I can't thank the Lord enough, y'all, for uh, for how He's done this. You, you have no clue because it's uh, I've just had to trust in Him, and I knew I really felt I felt strong for a long time, and uh, that He was going to do it. It was just in His timing. And you just had to be patient. And that's the hard thing to do in life is just to sit back and wait, man. And uh, I want y'all to know that uh, in the near future, by the grace of God, everything uh, everything works out right. That um, we will be a uh, an owner. Once again, if everything works out, we will be the owners of a uh, of a tackle shop. Um, time frame, I don't know. I really don't know yet. I'll uh, I'll keep everybody posted, but uh, one that we still have to get all the kinks worked out and all this, and you know it's not uh, it's not finalized yet because it's just it's not quite that time. But uh, by the grace of God, the uh, the finances have have come in to do so, and so we are going to. Uh, to pursue this uh, wide open and try to get things going to where we can uh, to where we can get everybody taken care of. That's the main thing. That's uh, that's what's always been in my heart is to to take care of customers, to take care of others, and uh, to go off input of others. And you know, look if uh, if somebody wants something, they're going to get it. You know what I mean? If uh, you come in and you want a uh, pack of plastics, well, it's not, uh, it's nowhere even remotely close to being my right to tell you what you need to buy. You know what I mean? And with it being a custom tackle shop, um, I will have my, my, all my products uh, there, but to like, if you want to order six jigs right then at a special color, well, then I can do that. So that's that's what's been my heart's desire is, uh, you know, to supply something uh, custom right there on the spot or to take uh, custom orders and, you know, fulfill them soon. You know what I mean? So uh, still going to uh, provide other stores and it would be like a couple other custom tackle companies out there you know have your own deal going and then provide for others as well so uh y'all have no clue of uh how tough of a road it's been because uh you know we always want to jump in with our time it's all about our time and it's all about all this and if we could just if we could get ourselves out of the way and let the Lord take over, that's the main thing. So uh, for everybody that has been uh, <clears throat> supportive of us, I cannot thank y'all enough for that. Um, and I pray that uh, that you continue to. Location will be announced uh, in time. And... Uh, not exactly how I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna go about doing all the posts, but I will uh I'll figure out something that look if ain't nothing else I can get on here and babble about something, you know what I mean? If it's nothing but uh vehicles going by. So yeah. Anyway, I will Jeffro, I'll keep everybody posted on what's going on. But yeah. I wanted to uh to announce kind of uh, the good news that's been going on with us and uh, the reason that I haven't been on here much man I've just been uh, just I've been having to lay back and 
and I apologize to everybody that has been put on hold, but I've, I've been having to lay low and just uh, and pray, take some time off, and, you know, to clear my head, I needed to be around the Lord. Got to go to a revival meeting all week last week. That was a blessing. And uh, he had to show me that it was in uh, his time. That's it. I didn't know, I, I really had a feeling that it was going to be soon, but I didn't know exactly when, you know what I mean? So, uh, it, uh, it's been a blessing, it's been a struggle at the same time because it's been hard, because I've, I've been ready to jump for a while, but uh, Lord didn't say, uh, Lord didn't say his time yet, so. Everybody, uh, just stay tuned on the uh, the posts and the updates that are coming, and I will be uh, I'll be reaching out to all my pro staff guys, and uh, that's another thing, guys. Look to the guys that are on pro staff now. Yeah, Amen, blood. That's what I say. Glory. Um, to all the guys that are on pro staff now. Uh, big things are coming, and to the uh, the people that are wanting on pro staff, hit me up. Hey, it's uh, it's nothing but a but a, a free message, and we get to talk, and then I'll send you a little form or whatever, and see what kind of credentials you got, and uh, then we'll go from there. I got look, I got uh, my little buddy uh. Jacob Reese and his buddy, um, I can't remember his name now. I just looked at the post a little bit ago. Anyway, up in uh, West Jefferson, I believe that's where they're at, either there or Ash County or something. Anyway, they, uh, so I got a couple of high school boys that fish a high school federation. So it's a uh, school angler federation, and that's something I didn't even know existed. So we brought them boys on as far as, not only pro staff, but they will be part of uh, our pro team, and they're young. They have a they have a desire and a want to be around the fishing industry, and uh, to teach them and learn them the ropes. It's uh, there's nothing free in life. You know what I mean? We all have to work for it, and uh, it'll give them boys a work ethic because in the industry now it seems like. Uh, Pro staff carp fisherman. That's what I'm talking about right there, Jamie. Um, anywho, uh, so yeah, we get them boys learning the ropes on the business side of things and how things work because that's the way it seems the fishing industry is anymore. It's more about uh, the business rather than catching a fish. Not on my side. I want uh, I want to teach people. You know, and hopefully you can teach me how to catch fish because I can't go out there and I don't really have a desire to chase the the tournament dream and all that anymore. At them days are gone. I like going out and playing around, and uh, but I've learned enough over the years that uh, surely to goodness I could uh, you know share the love of uh, what I have gained. So um, anywho, everybody uh, out there that can pray for us. Um, and, uh, just stay posted on, uh, what's to come. I will, uh, I'll share the location. It's, uh, it's a, it could be, uh, here at the house, you know what I mean? <clears throat> I haven't decided on that completely yet, but, uh, I will gladly let you guys know. Hey, Mick, you're Red Hawks. Hey, and Lane, uh, tell your coach she needs to hit me up. That way I can, uh, get everybody, um, going because it's going to be busy it's really going to be busy amen brother lord will guide you every step of the way that's right michael amen he said i want to be on the super pro staff look here doll you put me on the super pro staff without you put me on the lawnmower i'm gonna let you hold the weed eater down and uh i need to be on the christmas tree farm super pro staff and baby we'll, look we'll work her out so anyway, stay posted on what's to come, and uh, I'm excited. I pray that y'all are. Lane, get with me. Jamie, 
I ain't gonna have no stinking carp fish and stuff, boy. No, we probably will in time. So yeah, stay tuned, everybody. Share this thing and uh, share the love. Big Kev done chimed in right here at the last minute. But uh, tune in and I'll keep everybody posted on what's going on and we'll go from there. Amen, that's right. I'll see y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed weekend.